Hey guys, welcome back to another ride. In today's ride, we're testing the new version that just came out this morning, 14.2. Uh, pardon for my voice, I got a bit of a cold. I'll do my best uh, <clears throat> not to cough through the whole thing. But uh, yeah, the uh, only line that's different in this uh, entire release is the very first bullet point that the neural network vision encoder has a higher resolution feature to further improve scenarios like handling emergency vehicles, obstacles, and uh, human gestures. So I'm looking forward to testing this in New York City, but today we're just gonna do our first impression ride and see how it goes. If you guys wanna help me introduce this tech to more people, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's go. All right, so before we start, um, I did notice a few new changes. So we have this menu available now before you start the ride. So you can choose your speed profile and you can choose your um, arrival options before you actually hit the start button. Another thing that I noticed is the 3D maps are now defaulted with 14.2. Um, 14 and to change that, you just hit anywhere on the map and hit this little 3D building option and that makes them 3d versus not 3d uh i mean i'm going to keep it 3d see what happens i don't really have the maps on that much um one of the other things that are new as well is the self-driving stats uh those are showing how much of your ride is on the self-driving miles versus uh, total miles since 14.2 all right, let's get started. So our speed is set to standard. Um, we are choosing the parking lot. It's doing a good job reversing out here. Uh, the cameras actually look a lot clearer for some reason. Like the when I was reversing, like they look crisper. I don't know if that's just, um, you know, the lighting or something, but let me pull that up again. Uh, they just look a little bit crisper. I don't know, that could be just my eyes play, playing tricks on me. Good job over the speed bumps. The first speed bumps handled really well. We're gonna come up to our first stop sign here on 14.2. And uh, pardon for my voice, I, I do have a bit of a cold, so I'll try not to cough through the whole thing here. Nice stop at the stop sign. Uh, right away, it's noticeably smoother when it's taken off and when it's slowing down for stop signs, even at these low speeds. And uh, we'll see how it handles this new uh, this speed bump that's coming up. It does a really good job slowing down way in advance of it. Before, it would slow down like right before the speed bump. On um, this new version, it looks like it's slowing down a little bit earlier in advance, which definitely makes it more comfortable and definitely feels like a more polished version. So this little stretch of road is not 15 miles an hour. It should be 25, so the map is still an issue. Like the, uh, the speed limits on the map and uh, we're going to be turning right here and uh, we'll see if there's uh, still the issue with this county line road that the speed limit is uh, is 35 here and we'll see what FSD does okay a little bit of an abrupt stop here because there's a car coming from the left but not too bad but it moves right through confidently afterwards all right, so it's picking up the speed. It's still set to standard. All right, yeah, so the speed limit is actually 35, so I'm gonna push the accelerator. And uh, before, in the previous version, 14.1.7, um, it was uh, actually remembering that, and now for some reason it picks up the speed limit as 50. Not sure why, but uh, it was remembering the speed limit that I had like accelerated to, and it would drive that speed limit on that stretch. But that seems to have been reset from the uh, previous version on 
because anytime I would make that right turn out of that complex and uh, it would accelerate to like 32, 34 miles an hour. And that was like an acceptable speed if there's nobody following behind us. And it looks like standards is a little bit more mild on 14.2 because usually it would drive like 38, 39 miles in a 35. And this is like 36, 37. So I'll be curious to see if they have dialed in the uh, different speed profiles a little bit better. We're coming up to our first right turn here at the first traffic light. Not a lot of traffic today. Uh, it's, uh, it's the weekend, so middle of the day, so it's pretty chill. There's uh, quite a few cars coming from the left. We have a red light. There's a red on red here, so we should be moving forward. And it is not doing that. There's nobody coming from the left, so technically we should be going. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the accelerator because there's a car behind me. And of course, there's a bunch of cars coming from the left again. So we just have to wait for them to get by till we can start moving. All right, excellent. And it goes right after the opening after that last car so it did not do a right on red on its own i had to push the accelerator there and that's not something that was the case in 14.1.7 uh, it would just move through no problem and uh, we're actually going to be coming off the exit here in about half a mile i'm just curious where it's going to pre-stage all right, it's pre-staging pretty well in advance. Uh, usually it would pre-stage a little bit earlier, like right after the turn there on the previous version, but that's okay, this seems to be fine. Very smooth transitions between lanes. Overall, just a smoother ride so far. And even at these slowdowns, like uh, the braking is very soft. And it just rolls into this exit here. Now we're gonna hit the yellow light. It's still green, yellow. Ooh, hard braking. Hard braking for this yellow into red. Uh, normally, on the previous version, it would probably try to roll through that yellow because we were like right at the white line for the uh, at the yellow, so it could have just gone through. As a human, I would have gone through, but. Uh, the system's being very cautious, so it's slowed down, uh, but uh, a little too abrupt. But what's interesting is, uh, even though it was slowing down uh, abruptly, I didn't feel like I was being like uh, jostled around in the seat. So it was still less aggressive than the previous version for sure. All right, split second after the light turns green, we start moving through. Doing a really good job. Now we are gonna be coming up to our uh, right-hand turn into the ShopRite parking lot. Um, let's see here, we have chosen the parking lot. So we will let the car park. I'll be curious how it handles uh, the parking lot area. I did see a few folks that got the early access to 14.2 reported that they had uh, some issues with parking, that there's a bit of a regression with the parking itself. Uh, so we'll see what we can see on our end here. Nice right turn, very smooth. Uh, it's gonna be a couple speed bumps coming up here. We're gonna have some pedestrians crossing. And, uh, here we go. Here comes the first speed bump. Nice slowdown for the speed bump. Oh, it's actually going into the parking lot very early on. Usually it would pull up closer to the. What is it? Okay. Parking in this spot. This is a very odd choice for a parking spot because it's so far away 
from the front door. All right, I did a good job pulling in here. Let's see here. So the front door is like right over here. And then it parked like three lanes out. Usually it would have pulled up to the front door and then find parking spot somewhere closer to here. So it definitely parked way earlier than before. All right, we're gonna take a ride back. Let's see which way it goes. There's a pedestrian on the right here. It's acting very calm around the pedestrian. Like it's not jittery or braking or anything. Very smooth around the turning around cars. Everything kind of looks like a little bit more HD. I don't know if it's just my eyes playing tricks on me, but just the, there's like a higher definition in all the renderings on the screen, at least in my opinion. There's a lot of cars coming out from all different directions. Uh, it looks like our destination didn't get uh, didn't get recorded. So where are we where are we going here? For some reason, our destination was not selected, but we are driving somewhere. Oh, is it because I never hit start? Okay, there we go, that's a little bit better. A nice job on the stop sign here. There's no cars coming from the left, so we can just go. There's a bunch of people behind us waiting. Uh, gets into this uh, entrance lane and then moves right over. Very well done. Excellent job moving over to the other lane this car's on the right is going pretty slow so we're just moving over to get around them overall it's definitely a smoother ride uh, i'm not sure how i feel about this 3d map i'm just gonna turn it off because it's definitely easier on the eyes when the 3d map is not on A very comfortable speed limit, like 58, 59 of the 55. I think it's well done. Yeah, this may be the version where the wife would be willing to try it. Honestly, it's 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 acting very confidently and uh, very solid ride so far. picks all right you guys uh, if you watch the channel enough you know i like to be in the leftmost lane so the fact that it's picking this right lane is not my favorite because then we have to negotiate traffic with the people on the left but we'll see what happens here that starts moving right on green It's gonna go shoot traffic with this car. It's gonna let us by. It right, looks like it's gonna let us by. We got our blinker on. We're moving over. Excellent job. And uh, I'm also looking for any kind of reaction to shadows from the telephone poles, wires, or anything like that. In previous versions, the car did try to avoid them, thinking that. There were some kind of lines on the ground or anything, but I'm not seeing any of that. It's not skittish at all. There's no like brake stabbing of any kind. Any kind of slowdown that I've had so far has been very smooth. Yeah, they've definitely dialed in this version. All right, we got some leaves here floating around. We got leaves falling off the trees. It's not reacting to any leaves on the ground. Excellent job. And now it has a correct speed limit of 35, but it lowered the speed to 31 around these uh, sharp bends. 
we're gonna be coming up to our left turn here. Could slow down for the left turn. Um, the timing's actually a lot better on, on this particular turn than 14.1.7, uh, because in the previous version, it would try to uh, like slow down a little bit too late, and it would have to make this like wide left turn to actually make it in, but it, it like found that perfect rhythm on that turn and then made a left. Good stop sign here, and we'll see how it parks. So uh, I definitely want to test the uh, charge parking versus just regular parking. So uh, regular parking, it should just park nose in. If you select charger parking, it should back in at the parking spot. So I'll be curious to see uh, how it does on arrival here. It's doing a good job keeping to the speed limit, 16 and the 15. Got another stop sign here coming up. Nice, comfortable stop. We're back to that uh, same exact smoothness as we had on uh, 13, 13.2.8, um, I want to say, where it was like you can't even feel when the car is stopping, which is very impressive. Nice slow down well in advance of the speed bumps. The speed bumps still go over, over at like six, seven miles an hour, which is very nice. So let's see what it does here. If it's gonna park nose in or it's gonna back in. Plenty of spots. Interesting, so even though it was set to charger, it's still parked nose in. Huh. Um, I wish they would give you a preference where you say like, I always wanna like back up into parking spots and uh, that would be something that I would uh, definitely prefer. But there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified when the next video comes out. Take care of yourself, your family, and have a great day.